Hey guys, I'm back with a part two cool tools, the presser foot. I got a lot of questions or comments about they wish they could use it, but it really only works on industrial machines because you need that screw hole in the needle plate. So in the video I did last week, I was using my Janome 67P, which is industrial size. It's a home sewing machine, but it does have a big needle plate. It does have a screw hole for the screw that fit the um, screw that came with my presser foot. So I thought what I would do is I'd find the smallest home sewing machine I could get my hands on, which is my Janome Gem Platinum, which is a teeny weeny little travel machine. I'm gonna show you how to use this foot on a home sewing machine. And that also sort of reminds me, if anybody watching has seen a unique tool that's related to sewing and you'd like me to review it, put those, um, put your suggestions in the comments because I didn't even know this tool existed. Like I'm in my own little bubble and my dad found it for me and it, you know, it ended up being something very cool that I am so excited that I have in my toolbox now. If you have something that you're wondering about that you've seen places and you want to know if it works or not, put your suggestions in the comments below and I will get myself one and I will review it for you. And the cool thing is I am not beholden to any sewing machine company. Um, I tell you what I think. I'll tell you if I really think it works or if it doesn't work um, because I'm not I have no responsibility to the product company. So um, let's get started and let's look at how I got this presser foot to fit on my little uh, gem platinum Janome that's a teeny weeny little home sewing machine. So the one thing you're gonna need to do to work with it without screwing it in is there's a third screw here or there, there's this screw in the back that I didn't loosen when I was showing how to use it last week. It's a Phillips head screw. So you need a little Phillips head screwdriver. See how I opened it up? So now this allows me to swing this out of the way. Okay. The reason why you want to swing it out of the way is you're going to put it on your machine, but you're going to line up this edge right here with the side of your needle plate. Now usually that needle plate will stand above the, the, the machine slightly to give you a little straight edge. So see how I've got that right there? That stays really nice. I'm just gonna swing the foot in front of the presser foot for a second here because I wanna make sure when I stick this onto my machine this is gonna be the right distance from my presser foot over here. So I'm gonna slide it until I like the position. Okay, and I'm not talking about the position of it this way. See, that's another adjustment we can make. I'm talking about just how far it is this way. So I'm gonna say I like it right here. Once I'm sure I like it, I'm gonna swing this out of the way. I'm gonna take one piece of scotch tape and actually, I've been using the same pieces here. They're stuck onto my table, so you can re actually reuse your scotch tape. I'm gonna stick one on like this, and you can see that I'm gonna put that one, and I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna just stick it right here. So you can see now, I've got two pieces of scotch tape, and that's holding that pretty securely. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing this back into position, and I'm going to get my little little paddle or whatever you want to call that into position as well. So let's say I want it to be at a half an inch and I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up with the half an inch line on my, my needle plate which is right there. So then I can make sure that's right spot on where I want it to be at a half an inch. So let's just do that. Then I'm gonna take a final piece of scotch tape. Now that I've got this into position, I'm just gonna put a piece of tape over that arm that swung open like that. And now everything will stay in position. I can also screw down the screw to keep this from moving, 
but just know you need to put this into position first because once the tape is on top of this little arm you can't slide that back anymore because the tape will be in the way so one or two pieces of tape before you swing the arm into position get your little paddle into position where you want it to be in front of your you know the presser foot on your machine then you can adjust the height of your paddle by righty tighty or lefty loosening um, actually lefty loosen lowers so L for lo loosen and lower right and raise see it gets higher when we we turn it to the right see how high that is like I'm in love with this thing I want everyone to use this so that's why I'm doing the second video all right so now I've got that into position and you can see I'm just going to use this little scrap here to show you see how nicely that holds my fabric down you can see that you can work with this just as nicely on a little home sewing machine Like I said, I do think I would use um, painter's tape, not scotch tape. But look at how, what a nice, even, half-inch seam allowance that is. I am in love with this thing. So you can stick it on, but if you're working with a smaller home sewing machine, um, butt up the base of the foot here with your needle plate, and then you'll be able to extend the paddle out with this screw. So... That's my little recap on this powerhouse of a little presser foot that I think everybody needs, which if you didn't watch part one of this series, you know my dad got this for me because he reads my mom's emails and he thought I needed this. So once I tried it, I was like, holy cow, I think everybody needs it. So that is um, my little part two of the presser foot video. If anybody is watching this and they saw, they have seen something. Okay, wait. Hey everybody. Hey everybody, welcome. Oh wait. Okay. All right. All right. All right, so that's my little part 2 for this cool tool. Um I hope you enjoyed it and if you've ordered this already and you were disappointed because the screw didn't fit in the hole or you didn't have a hole to screw this foot in, I hope this video will help you. Um, if you haven't purchased, I mean, if you'd like to try this foot out, I do have my Amazon affiliate link in the description below, so you can check that out there. Um, I love it because it's, it's a generic foot and it's not a ton of money like some of the branded feet are. So um, definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, tomorrow on Fit Tip Tuesday, I'm going to be demystifying why Top Down Center Out works for some people with some patterns and not other people with the same pattern. So join me for that tomorrow during Fit Tip Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a lovely rest of your day. All right.